डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू और क्लास ऑन जे आर एफ एस आर एफ नेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू अग्रीकल्चर मेट्रोलॉजी एडवांस फॉर नाउ इन दिस क्लास वो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अंडर द न्यूट्रल कंडीशन अंडर द नॉन न्यूट्रल कंडीशन हाउ द फ्लक्सेस ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ फ्लक्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ न्यूट्रस लॉ ओके इन न्यूट्रस इक्वेशन ओके मास फ्लक्स in in the equations of uh, fix fics and uh, uh, fourier's law of diffusion for heat uh, we try to understand basically the questions would come like this uh, the uh, in the to explain to explain uh, momentum flux to explain momentum flux the rate process in momentum flux the rate process in the moment of flux is momentum transfer in case of momentum flux the rate process question my like what is the rate process in momentum flux a question is that it is momentum transfer so in case of uh, the mass flux the rate process the rate r a t rate process is mass transfer in case of momentum flux momentum transfer in case of uh, mass mass transfer is the rate process in case of uh, heat transfer okay what is the rate process heat transfer is the rate process so to be very simple as far as our bits are concerned the rate process in momentum flux is uh, momentum transfer the rate process in mass flux is mass transfer what is mass transfer see from a pond how much water is where is entering into the atmosphere so that's what mass transfer is the rate process there momentum uh, uh, rate for what is the rate process in newton thala they make question so that is the momentum transfer heat transfer in case of uh, uh heat uh, as far as rate process is concerned now these may come in any form in the bits now next thing is uh, what is the driving force what is the driving force driving force divided by speed driving force divided by speed we get the flux for any mass uh, momentum mass or heat okay here what is the driving force uh, for momentum transfer momentum transfer mass transfer heat transfer are there what is the driving force first in case of momentum transfer the driving force is velocity gradient momentum transfer velocity gradient in between two points there is a decrease of velocity ah next one in case of mass flux the concentration gradient in case of momentum velocity gradient in case of uh, uh, mass flux it is the concentration gradient say for example i keep uh, uh, okay uh, some uh, perfume in, in here okay on on my hand okay i keep it here from higher concentration to lower concentration okay the perfume smell goes so here is the highest so from higher concentration to lower concentration no? that's what we call it the concentration gradient to similarly without my telling you can say what is the driving force with respect to heat transfer it is the temperature gradient Tem I, 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 I presume that this is the wall sun rays are falling here okay on the other side of the wall if it is 30 degree centigrade here it may be 25 there is a reduction of force 5 degree centigrade why it all depends upon the energy random motion of the molecules atoms so what are what are they will all take place in a haphazard way however the temperature which is 30 will become 25 so to explain this what we call it as the temperature gradient is the driving force of a heat transfer so this which will come okay once again for your academic interest momentum transfer velocity gradient is the driving force mass transfer concentration gradient is the driving force heat transfer the driving force is the temperature gradient now what is the conductance or uh, transport property for these three what is the 
transport property in case of momentum transfer viscosity that's what that we also call it as the kinematic viscosity viscosity means you know the property of a substance okay to resist its flow we call it as the viscosity or kinematic viscosity because the uh, it is explained by newton for uh, newtonian fluids uh, uh, as a uh, uh, new for newtonian fluids he explained in the form of molecules now so what is the transport process here transport property in other words which uh, property is transported here viscosity in case of mass transfer mass diffusivity in case of heat thermal diffusivity is the property what is the transport property i am standing you now if it is too hot outside this classroom what the process occurs is thermal diffusivity so that you know i may get uh, with the incorrect walk when it is too hot on the road so once again for your academic interest the conductance or transport property question will be like the conductance or a transport property in case of momentum transfer is viscosity in case of mass transfer it is mass diffusivity in case of heat transfer it is thermal conductivity as you know what are the uh, law or mark law transfer through which law okay through which law who explain momentum transfer uh, newton's law of viscosity mass transfer fixed law of diffusion heat transfer who explain our thermal conductivity or thermal diffusivity fourier's law of fourier's law of thermal conductivity or fourier's law of thermal diffusivity we explain so laws are these the driving forces bits may come in any other form in any form okay now see always you will find certain uh, non dimensional numbers non dimensional numbers they are basically for the fluid uh, mechanics in engineering fluid mechanics in case of uh, medical field maybe uh, in any field okay however however and however we the agrometrologists shall also know okay these numbers i tried my level best to explain to you uh, what are what is the number what is the uh, okay a richard session number what is sasvidic number what is the uh, nusar number all these things uh, in my micrometrology i had explained in the theory class only only and only from the bits point of view i discuss with you a uh, bits only which would appear because uh, this is a advanced class for now here as far as uh, uh, the momentum flux is concerned uh, we always explain okay what is uh, a coefficient okay what is a coefficient you know see uh certain processes uh, in the fluxes okay uh through some non dimensional numbers we have we call it as the uh, either it is such physical number or anything transfer coefficient we use them uh, okay uh in terms of uh, dimensionless numbers transfer coefficients we use in uh, movement in the fluxes of three momentum flux mass flux and the heat flux we explain them in terms of certain coefficients so what are those coefficients those coefficients are an extensive research and production which are dimensionless numbers now as far as the momentum transfer momentum transfer is concerned newton's law now here sasvidic number we use to explain newton's law of viscosity as far as our uh, agricultural crops are concerned now where we use it uh, that uh, i explained already in the theory now what in the form of bit you should let in this class is uh, to explain newton's law of viscosity as far as crops are concerned the number that we use is the otherwise you no know, coefficient okay the uh, transfer coefficient we use is uh uh sasvidic number so what is sasvidic number that i will tell a dimensionless number defined as a ratio it is a ratio between these between two okay it is a ratio of momentum diffusivity and mass diffusivity the ratio between the 
momentum diffusivity and mass diffusivity is known as a such predict number s c h m i d t such predict number so here it is used to characterize the fluid flows in which these are there are simultaneous momentum and mass diffusion convection processes so please remember that mass uh, and momentum flux mass flux heat flux in more under the general most circumstances one or one only one process occurring is rarest of the rare one is rarest two or three will add say for example a hot water is blowing over a canal hot water is because of the sunny days there is a lot of evaporation mass transfer is occurring because it is may 10th water is very very hot so getting evaporated so process is diffusion diffusion means you know a fixed law of diffusion now newton's law will come here where if the overlying air in that atmosphere over this water okay uh, when it is going from a um, in a tank to the field if it is cool what will happen okay the evaporation is reduced the evaporation is reduced so water is hot in the tank when you are coming through a canal it is getting evaporated that is explained by uh, when uh, uh, fixed law of diffusion okay it is diffusion process so now what is happening here uh, newton's law will come when uh, cool air is there so a question will come like this what is that the moment of flux is explained by such predict number what is such predict number otherwise the question may come the ratio between the moment of diffusivity and mass diffusivity is known as such predict number so this applies to when the characteristic fluids are flowing in which there are simultaneous momentum and mass diffusion see this is advanced question please remember mass momentum diffusion is there mass diffusion is there we explain it through uh, such predict number what is such predict number i have explained to you in the theory of micrometeorology please subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, try to understand that in the days to come also i try to enlighten you further 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 now second thing is the mass transfer mass transfer is a fixed law now see it is explained by sherwood number s h e a r w o o d sherwood number which is explained mass diffusion mass diffusion means you know atmosphere there is a there are clouds so rain is occurring we can explain through uh, this sherwood number so what is sherwood number question will come like this now the ratio of uh, convective mass transfer to the mass diffusivity convective okay convective mass transfer mass transfer through convection it is the ratio between mass convective transfer to mass diffusivity this is what we call such predict number okay as uh, a sherwood number the sherwood number is uh, um, in other words you know convective mass transfer by mass diffusion rate is known as the sherwood number sherwood number so bits may come in anything for your academic interest once again i would like to enlighten you that uh, what is sherwood number sherwood number is to explain the uh, mass uh, mass flux so what is the sherwood number sherwood number is a dimensionless number it is a coefficient it is a coefficient okay it is a flux coefficient of mass sir mass flux coefficient can be explained by sherwood number so what is sherwood number it is the ratio of convective mass transfer to the mass diffusivity now the third one is the heat transfer it is uh, explained by nusselt number in the theory of micrometeorology i have tried my level best to explain Ah, to all my beloved students, both at the PG and PH level, in a very simple way, with so many examples. Please uh, uh, see those videos uh, here. From the bits point of view, I would like to say that the uh, no salt number is a dimensionless number. It is a ratio of uh, thermal energy converted to the fluid to the thermal energy conducted within the fluid. Once again, I will read. That. So very very interesting, excellent, wonderful. Okay, what is that? what is uh, nusselt number nusselt number is the ratio of it is a ratio of thermal energy convected thermal energy convected if a crop is there there is a thermal energy it is convected to where 
it is first point it is a ratio between thermal energy converted to where i will tell later on after 2 seconds or 10 seconds it is a ratio of thermal energy converted to the fluid what is the fluid above a crop there is a there is air so thermal energy conveyed to the environment the micro weather okay conveyed to the thermal energy conducted within the fluid so the thermal energy that is conducted once it is conveyed unless it is conducted there is no meaning okay so uh, this is the nusar number nusar number is the ratio of thermal energy convected to the fluid to the thermal energy conducted within the a fluid so nusar number is equal to the dimensionless in other words you know what we call it as the temperature gradient a wheat crop is there in winter water is given as irrigation crown root initiation stage is there which where during which we should we must should give must and should give irrigation now what is the nusar number play already crown root initiation very very cool 15th of December or 20th of December, very very cool, Northern India. So, above that the air is further cool. So, now here the ratio of two things from the crop, the thermal energy conveyed to the fluid, to the thermal energy conducted. In other words, temperature gradient play an important role. If the wheat crop at the crown root initiation stage, is giving to the air or air is given to uh, uh, this wheat crop okay microclimate air is given. so here the ratio between energy converted to the energy uh, okay, moved or energy transported or energy conducted we call it as the nusar number these are the most important bits that you should and you must remember now here the um, such predict number, Sherwood number and Nussard number are useful for these fluxes and uh, now the mass transfer one or two important things I would like to share with you as far as uh, bits are concerned. Uh, see, under the, uh, the molecular transfer equations of Newton's law, molecular uh, transfer of uh, molecular transfer equations of Newton's law, Newtonian fluids. Okay, for uh, fluid momentum at low Reynolds number, at low Reynolds, what is Reynolds number? I explained extensively. Okay, at low Reynolds number of what uh, the molecular transfer equations of Newton's law for fluid momentum at low Reynolds number, fix law for mass, four years for heat are very similar, okay? That means the uh, Newton's law for uh, momentum transfer, the fixed law for uh, mass transfer, the four years law for, okay, heat transfer, they all hold good when Reynolds number is less. What is Reynolds number? I had given several times. Theory I explained to you. Now at lower numbers, they are very, very good. But at higher numbers, what will happen? Okay. Since these are all linear uh, approximations, the reason also they will give. Why at low Reynolds number, the fixed law, the first one, the Newton's law, the fixed law, the four years law, uh, holds good uh, for the flow is because uh, the reason what you should give is that uh, these are all linear approximations by those scientists uh, Newton, Fix and Fourier. Okay. Now at higher Reynolds number what will happen? At higher Reynolds number the analogy between momentum, mass and heat transport becomes uh, less useful. Why less useful? Because uh, non-linearity of the Neperian Stokes equation. Okay, Neperian Stokes equation is there that I explained in the theory because of low Neperian okay, Stokes equation at higher Reynolds number of these flows. What are these flows? So, moment of flux, mass flux, here, I mean, uh, heat flux, uh, they doesn't hold good, particularly, particularly, but this bit will come at uh, higher uh, I mean, uh, Reynolds numbers. The Newtonian okay uh, the Newton's law of viscosity doesn't work however 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 mass transfer through fixed law the heat flow through Fourier's law they hold good even at higher Reynolds number to a 
reasonable level so what is the reason the reason is the non linearity of the napierian stokes equation so these are all the things that i would like to share with you in this class thank you very much for your very patient hearing